What is up guys, Late Night Cacus here. Thank you so much for stopping by and today, the reason we're up in this late hour is because Trials of Osiris has officially been announced. The community finally reached the final seventh goal of the Imperium Foundation event and in game, you can actually now go to the Tower Obelisk and interact with it. As you can see, you're gonna start this new kind of quest called Worthy. It's not really a quest though what it really just does is let you experience a cutscene that you're going to be seeing on screen right now where your guardian goes up into mercury and plants actually the seasonal artifact and activates the lighthouse which is a pretty epic moment now as soon as this happened Bungie revealed that, hey, you guys have reached the final goal and 30 minutes from now, a new developer insight video is going up, officially unveiling trials from Bungie's end. So that's what we're gonna break down in this video. Take a look at some brand new trials gameplay, some trials gear and all of that stuff. So the dev insight actually begins with Luke Smith, lead director at Bungie saying that Destiny was well, actually an outtake from the Shadow Keep uh, Dev Insight video, and he's just saying, "Look, we know this game needs like a hardcore three v three elim mode, something for PvP players to sink their teeth in and chase every weekend. We know that this game needs it, and we're going to fix it. We're gonna bring it back. Fast forward to the moment they actually brought it back." And bam, right out the gate, we have this screenshot here showcasing all three classes decked out with Trials weapons and gear. As you can see, if you're a D1 vet, this is the absolutely infamous Trials armor from like OG Trials in D1 returning into D2. Now, D2 has never had Trials of Osiris. We only had Trials of the Nine, which was a very different like look and feel aesthetic. So I actually don't mind them bringing back the super famous armor sets in a completely different game, but I digress. Another thing that they seem to be bringing back is the weapons. You can catch right here, uh, this is the kind of like the OG Destiny 1 Trials shotgun with the Hunter, and then it very much appears that the Warlock actually has the infamous Doctrine of Passing, one of the best weapons of all time in Destiny 1, or at least that's what I thought. Then I kind of had to think about it and went back and realized it may not be the Doctrine of Passing. It, it could be, it has that same shape, the same appearance, but if this is the old school armor and in the Vidoc, Bungie said we're bringing back the original Trials weapons, well, although it looks very similar, the original Trials auto rifle wasn't the Doctrine, it was the Summoner, as you can see. And this was a pretty middle of the road auto rifle, pretty average. I hope though, it's the Doctrine. And the reason being is because the Doctrine was so good because it belonged to the old school Destiny 1 900 rounds per minute auto rifle archetype. That doesn't exist in Destiny 2, it only goes up to 720. So what a cool way to reintroduce an old D1 archetype and introduce a new damage archetype into Destiny 2 with an absolutely infamous Trials weapon. I hope they do it that way, but it could also just be the Summoner, which is gonna be like a 600 RPM auto and be super average. Or maybe not actually, because autos are getting huge buffs starting next season. Next up, we have the infamous Trials Stare Down, and we see a few other weapons here. Likely the Warlock on the left is using the Messenger. That was the Pulse Rifle from the original Trials, but it very much also looks like it could uh, just be, well, either an Outbreak Perfected. It very much looks like that. Potentially, this is also um, an ornament for the Vigilance Wing, which is already like Osiris themed in and of itself. So I'm not 100% sure what that is. I'm thinking actually maybe it's just the Outbreak, but on the right hand side, that Warlock, that is using a new Scout Rifle. I think this is the Scholar from, again, Destiny 1, and it was one of the high impact Scout Rifles back in the day. We see the same shotgun we've already seen. Something pretty unique on the right hand side in the middle, don't know exactly what that is. 
Now let's fast forward a bit here until we have some Trials of Osiris gameplay. And in this gameplay, we see uh, the person using what appears to be that Trials Scout Rifle, the Scholar. And here's the interesting part. They hit for 444 damage with a Scout Rifle and they don't even come close to getting a one-shot kill. So what the heck is going on here? And this is not the only example. Further on in the trailer, we see what appears to be a Randy's scout rifle hitting for 320 damage for a headshot. So I don't know exactly why this is. Clearly the damage numbers are scaling up a ton. Now either they're just being inflated and this is going to take away rounding because right now sometimes you hit for 18 damage. You'll see 18 damage on your screen, but you actually hit for like 17.5 and the game is rounding up. So that can actually cause some issues. There's actually been incidents in the past where they've messed with the rounding and people thought the vigilance wing was buffed and it never was. The rounding just changed. It didn't actually do any more damage. So basically saying the exact numbers they're doing by scaling them up would avoid this scenario. It could also be that light levels are potentially involved with Trials of Osiris. That is a massive can of worms. Some players are going to love it. The grinders are going to love it. And a lot of other players, especially the PvP players, might hate that. Like uh, Iron Banner, because it has that, is getting a lot of flack right now. Tell me what you guys think is going on here, because those damage numbers are not normal. Moving on from there, however, we have some more gameplay and we see a Trials of Osiris fusion rifle also in the mix. And by now, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, what map is this? Well, there is going to be some returning D1 maps with Season of the Worthy, which is the new season. So we have, as you can see, Cauldron, Exodus Blue, and lastly, Anomaly, all returning from D1. And then we're going to continue forward to another kind of sweet pose within the trailer. We can see here we have that pulse rifle. Again, still not sure what the heck this thing is. We have the shotgun for the billionth time, but then the hunter is using a trials hand cannon. So, so far we have most of those original group of trials of Osiris guns from D1 all returning. And that's a pretty big loot pool. Interesting again to see where they're going to slot in in D2. You know, are there going to be different archetypes? Are they just going to fit into the current D2 stuff? Will they have different perk pools? Will they have intrinsic perks like old school trials guns did? Really going to have to wait to see the answers to those. Just after that, you see some guardians walking with a little bit of a different look to their Osiris armor. It's glowing. Bungie said that if you actually go flawless for that weekend, your armor, if you're wearing the Trials armor, it's going to glow. So everyone's going to know like, hey, these guys went flawless that weekend. Like it's not a permanent thing. It'll go away. And then every time you go flawless, it'll reapply. So that's pretty neat. We then have this little piece of gameplay here, simply showing off uh, some new emotes. We have actually the warlock sitting and petting a cat, it looks like. The hunter is putting on some shades and the titan is sipping tea. And then finally, we of course have the official announcement that Trials of Osiris returns March 13th. And if you can remember, this season, Season of Dawn, is ending and therefore the new season is beginning on March 10th. So that very first weekend, Trials is going to be playable. March 13th is a Friday, and likely it will go to either a Sunday or Monday just before reset. Now, as for some supplemental information, this is a big deal to a lot of PvP players and Trials grinders out there. How is the matchmaking going to be? Because Destiny 1 experimented with several different ways to do Trials matchmaking. Well, as you can see, Luke Smith himself tweeted out that it's going to be based on connection and your card. So that means if you have five wins on your card, you are going to match other people that have five wins, hopefully. Maybe four, maybe six, but it should be within that ballpark. And that is good. It means that you're not going to just start your card and match people who are one win away from going to the lighthouse. You shouldn't do that. But it also means that if you're one win away from going to the lighthouse, like you're either going to have your time ruined or someone else is going to have their time ruined. And that makes those final battles very, very intense. And I think that is the best way to do it. When this kind of matchmaking was in Destiny 1, I definitely had the most fun. So I'm happy to hear it. 
So that is kind of it for the gear and stuff that was shown off in the trailer, stuff in the background, but as for what Bungie actually talked about and really emphasized within this trailer is just that they have said that they have tested trials, they really want to bring it back in the right way, they recognize that the pinnacle PvP activity is missing and they are very excited for it. And I honestly am pretty excited for it as well. It is gonna be nice to have that other thing to chase. Trials is not a joke. It's gonna take you several weeks to get you know, the entire loot pool, even if you're going flawless every single time. I mean, you can only you know, likely loot that chest three times for your three characters, and then you gotta wait the next week. So it's similar to a raid in that sense, acquiring loot is not as simple as you know the menagerie where you can grind it endlessly or the sundial where you can grind it endlessly so the replayability of trials is going to be much more hardcore and likely we're going to see this as a relevant activity going past this season and it's very unlikely that trials will disappear because sundial that's disappearing come march 10th sundial will not be playable just like vex offensive now, if Trials of Osiris is the marquee activity for Season of the Worthy, will that go away? Again, I highly, highly doubt it. Bungie would be absolutely shooting themselves in the foot if they did that. But that brings up another important question. If Trials is going to be a new key activity, they need to make sure that they are updating the loot base as well. Because when we go from season to season, that Trials loot is going to need to refresh like it did in Destiny 1. They can't let it get stale like they're honestly letting uh, the current Iron Banner loot pool get. The Iron Banner loot pool, like pretty much everyone has all those guns and the desire to keep playing the activity has fallen off the map. So this is such a big activity. This is such a big deal. And I think it's laying the foundation for more things to come. This is not going to be a normal season where you have... The six player activity, it's here, it has some loot, it's super farmable, and it goes away and everyone's bored by, you know, halfway through the season. No, Trials is going to last a lot longer than that and it's really just the foundation of hopefully further updates and loot changes to come going forward through multiple seasons. So that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, found this interesting, found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, uh, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.